タイムマイクバウデン、バックアゲン。And I am your host, Destiny Hero Mike. And welcome back to D Time Yu-Gi-Oh! And man, in the previous video that I just uploaded today, so I'm doing, trying to do two things, two, two birds and one stone, two videos, so I can be done with this for a while. Really, the point of this video here, we're gonna do the test hands and how to piece it all together. You guys saw in the previous videos, we wanted to establish who's who, what's what, and why we play what we play. And we wanna do some random test hands. We wanna see if we draw some of the best. What can we work? With the best hands or some of the worst hands. Now, mind you, this is a more Destiny Hero oriented build. It's not the typical Ami deck, hence my name, D Time. I, I cannot function without Destiny Heroes. I have to play an extensive amount of Destiny Heroes because that's just the way my brain works. But it is, I hope this is a, a guide, a better, a, a decent guide into how the, the way you want to build your deck. I, this, another example is when you are ready to build your hero deck. You can craft it to the way you want to. You could play Evil Hero Malicious Bane. You could play Elemental Hero Honest Neos if you want. However, whatever suits your playstyle and your feel, you know, what, what feels closest to home for you. For me, it's Destiny Heroes. So uh, without further ado, let's get into a quick test hand. And I also wanna, you guys see me shuffling. You know, and I also, you know, the point, I don't care about like a view count for this video. Like I, I care about like channel growth. And the point of this video was long term. I want to put out content like such as this that's going to last for a long time. It's going to always be relevant for a long time. It's never going to be outdated. It's not something like a side deck or it's not something like the meta. It's something that you can come to or direct someone to and it's always going to be relevant no matter what year or, you know, I might update it, you know, so we get, might get some new hero support or something. I can update, I can, I can continue to make guides based on certain variants. The Neo's variant, Evil variant, well, I mean, Evil variant, oh, let's be honest, that needs an update. Destiny variant, this is the Destiny variant, but it still has the same element as the Omni heroes. So without further ado, and, you, and if you've missed every, if you've missed, there, check out the playlist. There are at least three other videos in the playlist, as well as side decking in this playlist. So we give you five solid videos on how to play heroes and who's who, what's what. So now this is the final one for now, for now. This is the final one for now. And you guys see we do the uh, respective cut. And let's see what we get and how we're going to play it. Playing D-Force, Mass Change, Reinforcement of the Army, uh, and Destiny Hero Denier, and the Ferris. All right, so we're going we're, we're gonna to make, make do with this, all right? So let's say we're going first. I want to break down everything. Let's just do the walkthrough. So the first thing I'm going to do is now we can use a Ferris, Ferris effect, but the first thing we're going to do is this, all right? Because chances are they're not going to main deck Joel and Lockbird or something like that. So we want to activate D Force, a card like D Force to bait out their Ash Blossom. So on activation, D Force we add a Destiny Hero Plasma from deck to hand on activation. That's what it does on activation. If they don't Ash Blossom, or if they're holding the Ash Blossom, that's fine. That that's that's for bait's sake. Okay, we're baiting them. Boom, we get our Destiny Hero Plasma from deck to hand. The next thing we do is we, <clears throat> we activate Reinforcement the Army. If they have, if they're holding on to Ash to save, they're a smarter player. They don't they don't Ash the Reinforcement of the Army. They allow us to get our Destiny Hero, our Elemental Hero uh, Stratos. That is fine. Uh, now we normal summon Stratos. Now let's see what they have. Let's see if they have either an Ash. If they have an Ash, that's fine. If they don't have an Ash, they have something like a Effect Veil or Imperm, then that's when we easily change our Mass Change. We're just doing our different routes. Let's pretend they do, you know, we're because we're, Hand Traps are always a thing. And then we get our Mass Hero Blast, which our Stratos will resolve. But let's just say they don't. And let's just play the hand as if they don't have any hand traps, right? And last thing, if they do have a Ash Blossom, well, this is why we play three Ferris. We hard drew the Ferris, and we could discard the Denier for cost to summon the Ferris if they had the Ash. But again, let's say they don't have an Ash Blossom. Just, just so you know, just how strong, how powerful this deck is, how potent this deck baits out hand traps. So I wanna give you some of the more technical aspects. I could just shotgun it, 
as if there are no such thing as hand traps. I could, but I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna show you guys just how many routes this deck has. So, so we get our, our Destiny Hero Malicious from deck to hand because we have a Denier and we have a Destiny Hero Plasma. But you're gonna see also the point of Hero, the real point of Hero is to maximize everything. You want to get the most max profit. You want to squeeze the most max juice out of your heroes, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the next thing we do with our hand is we send our Destiny Hero Malicious from the hand to the graveyard for Ferris's cost, okay? So now Ferris summons and Ferris is going to activate the effect to get us a... We only play one increase. Get us a one increase from the deck. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to tribute the Straddles. I prefer to tribute the Straddles because I like to keep Dark Monsters on the field for the mass change. Just in case something like a Ghost Ogre or something like that, it is still played, the Ghost Ogre. So if they, if we tribute our Dark, well now we're not going to have a, a, a free Dark. But that's another technical thing, but let's continue to go through it. Then we'll use our Increased Effect to summon a Vision Hero Level 4 lower from the deck. Boom, there goes our Vion. Our Vion, no problem. And then we use our Vion's effect. We send a hero from the graveyard, from the deck to the graveyard. And I think we've already normal some of the Stratos. So we send our Shadow Mist, okay? We send our Elemental Hero, Shadow Mist, and Shadow Mist effect will trigger to add our... Oh, we're going to add our Elemental Hero, Liquid Soldier, from deck to hand. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add... We're going to use our Vion to banish a used hero. Typically, I like to use the... So typically, I like to I like to banish the sh the dark shadow mist because it is a level four and they could do things with it. Say something like with the dark, they can reborn it. You don't want them to reborn a level four dark monster. So I mean, they're gonna link, but they could also exe. So you, I typically banish the shadow mist. We're gonna add the polarization from deck to hand. Next things we're gonna do, we want increase in the graveyard at this point, right? So. We link off the increase and we link off the Vion. We keep the highest defense on the field. Worst case scenario, something weird happens, I don't know. We keep the highest defense on the field being Ferris, 18 attack power. We go for our Wonder Driver, okay? That's the next thing we do. We summon our uh, extra hero Wonder Driver. And you guys see we have a live Malicious in the graveyard, but right now we're not going to be using it. We're going to activate Palmerization. We're going to send our Liquid Soldier and our Denier. We don't need our Denier and here in our hand currently and then we're gonna summon our elemental hero sunrise okay so now the, the, other, the reason why i bring sunrise in defense is because there's a possibility we can lock them with the dark angel we could give them the dark angel lock possibility and when you do that you don't want to have any attack position monsters on the field because they can crash so that's why we do that it's either that or we're gonna end off on a plasma and and or a dp or a dpe so that's why we bring in the fence so unless we know we're not gonna dark angel but in this case since there's a possibility depending on the matchup we put in the fence mode so now we do chain link one wonder driver because it's mandatory target polymerization in the graveyard chain link two our liquid soldier and this, we want to do it in this order, in Chain Link 3, Sunrise. Now, Liquid Soldier is going to draw us two to discard one, but the reason why we activate Sunrise as Chain Link 3, so that we don't we don't want to hard draw our Miracle Fusion. That's never good. You don't want to, for example, I'll give you an example. Let's say this is Chain Link 3. The Liquid Soldier's Chain Link 3 will draw two. Then we have to discard one, and now the Sunrise won't even get a chance to activate. And we just technically pretty much just do a brick. So that's not what we want. We want to always add the Miracle Fusion from deck to hand first as the final, as uh, Sunrise being the final chain, which in this case is Chain Link 3. Usually it's going to be Chain Link 3 because we're not playing uh, the Liquid Soldier. No, the Solid Soldier. So the opponent does the respective cut, and then we're going to draw two and discard one. Let's see what we get. Mass change? <laughs> two mass changes. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to be real about it. Obviously, let's discard a mass change. It's a little disappointed. That's not what we wanted, but that's okay. Now the Wonder Driver is going to resolve his Chain Link 1 and reset the Palmerization because the Palmerization was targeted. Boom. Now let's continue. Now we have an option. If the opponent is playing a spell heavy deck, here's the next thing we do. Alright, so we link these two away, the Wonder Driver and the Ferris. Now we bring out the Cross Guy, okay? So now we bring out Cross Guy. Cross Guy's effect is going to target a Destiny Hero monster in the graveyard, target Destiny Hero Malicious. 
And then we're going to use the cross guy to tribute the Destiny Hero Malicious to add a hero from deck to hand. So now in the Dark Angel. Alright, now we have two options here. Is this deck a spell heavy deck? Let's say it is a spell heavy deck. This is the route we go. So now we have a live malicious in the graveyard. So we use the malicious in the graveyard. Special the malicious from the deck. Really briefly, let's go summon them. Boom. And now the next thing is we use our denier for cost, not for, for once for dual effect, to special summon itself from the graveyard, target our malicious that's banished and place at the top of the deck, right? And then we Palmerization to Destiny Hero, level six or higher uh, Destiny Hero, and a uh, level six or higher hero and a Destiny Hero. Boom, it's me, it's me, DPE. And what we can do here is we still have a Malicious, which is really cool, but we're not gonna do that. So let's say again, this is a spell route, right? The spell heavy route. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use DPE's effect to destroy himself and we're gonna chain mass change okay so we're gonna activate his effect before we, we destroy okay so then we're gonna chain as chain link to mass change send our cross crusader to the graveyard to special summon the dark law all the way to the all the way to the far right column you don't want him in the middle middle column because for example let's pretend this is a a um, Relinquish, they could take him. We don't want him here. We want him all the way to this column. That's where we want him, just to be clear on that. But then the DPE will destroy himself and the mass change on resolution. DPE, so graveyard effect, activates. Now we have three three Destiny Heroes in the graveyard, being the Destiny Hero Phoenix Enforcer and the Denier and Malicious. And then there's the Dark Angel, and we go ahead and discard, activate Dark Angel's effect, target Dark Angel, special summon to their side of the field. And we want to make sure that that is clear on the screen. Good. All right. And it's captured pretty well. And then so now, that is pretty much our inboard. We have an extra mass change set. And this is pretty much our inboard. And this is why we had the sun, the sunrise in defense. The DPE comes back. Whatever normal summon they have, eats them up. All the spell cards are irrelevant. Now, let's go into our plasma, our monster. Say if it's a monster heavy deck or something like that. Let's say that they don't really care too much about having their spell cards blocked. So now we want to establish, so now, so we know that they are not going to, you know, they don't care about spell cards, depending on the matchup, right? So we use the Cross Crusader to tribute our Malicious to add to our hand, hmm, who do we add, hmm, who do we add? Let's add, I guess, the, the Decider. Destiny Hero Decider is just another Destiny Hero again. This is a more Destiny Hero or oriented deck, but... The, the the core values are still the same. They're about just the exact same. So here, what we're gonna do is so we tribute it, and so what we could do is this: we go polymerization between a destiny hero and a level six or higher hero for the DPE. It is me? It is me DPE? We all love it. Next, so now because we're go, we're gonna make the plasma play. So this is why we saved our malicious. So now we use malicious. We already have our DPE on the board for free. Okay, and then we get our malicious from the deck. And then we use our where we are. Boom. Denier. Denier's effect from the grave once we're dual. Then we're gonna place the malicious at the top of the deck. And now we have three monsters to tribute, okay? So now we're gonna tribute three monsters. One, two, three. To bring out Destiny Hero Plasma. The next thing we're gonna do, we still have now. What this card does while it's on the field, plasma the cards. Well, if plasma's on the field, the first effect cards cannot be targeted. All cards. They, your opponent can't target any of your cards. Can't target the DPE. Can't target plasma. Your back row can't target any cards. Plasma gains 100 attack for each monster in both graveyards. So yeah, he's pretty beefy. I mean, look, do the math on that. And then including their graveyard, especially if they use any hand traps this turn. And also, he can attack twice. And cannot be destroyed by card effects but you skip your draw phase so we know that there is a malicious to the top uh, on the top of our deck currently we know that there's a malicious on the top of our deck so we know that if we want to we can end our turn and still be live on a malicious because we skip our draw phase but it's not guaranteed they could do something like a lava golem but the next thing we want to do we have the option to do that the next thing we want to do is banish the malicious with so one extra body especially some of the malicious then we have 
two, mass change, and then on our turn or whatever, mass change brings the extra body malicious. Boom, there's a dark law. And then we, look, we didn't use Miracle Fusion. Miracle Fusion is a follow-up effect, okay? Miracle Fusion is follow-up because we have a water in the graveyard plus a draw to the following turn. So that's what it looks like together, all together. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. But this is going to be the final video for now of these tutorials. And I hope that gives you a decent groundwork. I hope that gives you basically, you know, all the answers that you're looking for in terms of what's what, who's who. And that's how you maximize everything. Now you have, you have your left with follow-up, no matter what. You know, you, you, you've got them locked down so many different ways. You can Dark Angel them. There's so many different ways to lock them down. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a very consistent deck, by the way, and that was just from a normal summon, so, and that was a completely randomized hand. So, again, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll do the best I can to get back to them in a timely manner. Very busy, especially my videos have been popping these days, so I really appreciate you guys, and please subscribe, and be safe. Be good to yourself, guys.